Today on Reinfrastructure, we are visiting the new Penn Moynihan Station Complex in Amtrak Pavilion. Since it's July 3rd, everyone's trying to get home early for the holiday weekend. But this station, when it was built, was horrendously ugly compared to what had preceded it. And even now, it's terrible. So, in the next few years, they're planning to completely redo the station with a $3 billion initiative spearheaded by Governor Andrew Cuomo. As we normally do, let's start by talking about the history of the station. Penn Station was completed in 1910. It was built to be the center of rail infrastructure in the Northeast United States. The station was at its peak during the middle of the 1940s, right after World War II had ended and Americans had lots of disposable income. Added to this, commercial airliners didn't really exist yet, and the interstate system was built under Eisenhower almost 15 years later. However, as time went on and these two systems of travel became more common, Pennsylvania Railroad decided to option off the air rights to the station. It called for the main, beautiful station to be demolished and replaced with an office building and a new version of Madison Square Garden. Many people, including commuters and famous architects, protested this demolition. As the architect Vincent Scully once said, One entered the city like a god. One enters in now like a rat. I, along with many others, certainly feel rat-like when wandering through this tight and tremendously ugly station. It was built in 1964 to handle about 200,000 people daily, but it is currently working at triple capacity with about 650,000 passengers every day. That's double the daily amount of passengers entering and exiting through all New York's airports combined. However, a new expansion to the station is set to change that. This is the Farley Post Office building that will house the new station. The Moynihan Station, as it will be called, will be much larger and prettier. In fact, the atrium alone will be entirely covered with an acre of glass. I personally love the curved glass look of the room. The new pavilion will be about 50% larger than the existing Penn Station, at 250,000 square feet. The station will also include 700,000 square feet of retail and office space, and the post office on 8th Avenue will remain completely untouched. Oh, hey, here at the LIRR, most of the operations aren't going to be moved over to the new Farley Center on 8th Avenue. And the Moynihan is going to be basically reserved mostly for Amtrak, even though, as you can see, the LIRR is much more crowded. This station will extend all the way to 9th Avenue, which is adjacent to the new Far West neighborhood of Manhattan. The existing underground portions of Penn Station will be partially expanded and also provide more facilities for people who are passing by. Concourse for the LIRR, which is very crowded today. It's at triple capacity. That's why we need this complete redone doing of the station. Right behind me, we have the long hallway, which will be basically doubled in width with big blue sky LED screens set up above us and lots of LED screens on the side displaying what the schedule will be. And to top it all off, the two subway stations that are attached to Penn Station, the one for the 1, 2, and 3 trains, and the other for the A, C, and E trains, will be rebuilt for $50 million by the MTA. It is estimated that this station will cost approximately $3 billion and will be completed in 2020. That already, the new construction is going on and it will be completed someday. I mean, it's already here. I'm walking in. Anyone can walk in it. Look at all the people in it right now. Like, it's coming. This isn't just some hype dream. It's, it's a reality. And it's being built right over there at this very moment. Thanks for the view. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe below. Thank you for watching Reinfrastructure. I'll be back next week.